excited today to have Ram Narayan Aya, who is the Worldwide Director of Digital Strategy and E-Commerce at Microsoft. And he's been spending the last few years uh, driving sales through third parties. And um, he spoke on the first day of Retail Innovation Week talking about some of those strategies. But I also wanted to speak to him about uh, how e-commerce also embraces marketplaces and how the Microsoft organization is thinking about marketplaces. Hey, Ram, nice to, jo- nice to have you. Nice to see you again, Piers. Yeah, it's great. Well, thanks for uh, giving the talk the other day, and I'd love to just to talk to you a little bit and bring you back and talk to you about how Microsoft uh, is thinking about marketplaces. What is the role of marketplaces in your strategy? Yeah, <clears throat> the marketplaces appears is uh, a very important part of our growth ambition, I would say, because uh, marketplaces today represents almost 60% of the $4 trillion e-commerce market uh, globally. Uh, it's almost become ubiquitous for consumers to buy on marketplaces across categories. And therefore it's imperative that Microsoft has its presence uh, as a part of you know, really participating uh, in that opportunity. Is there anything uh, geographically that's striking that changes across the world as especially in your worldwide remits? Yeah, it's interesting. I think with marketplaces, you know, while there's a, a big benefit that we see in terms of the reach and scale the platforms offer uh, to really reach uh, multiple customers, one of the key challenges that we always see with marketplaces is that the capabilities of marketplaces across uh, geographies uh, really varies and across partners, again, uh, varies a lot. So while we see marketplaces uh, in the greater China region like JD.com and Tmall have very sophisticated capability when it comes to live streaming or in terms of using AI with uh, CRM in terms of targeting shoppers. Uh, we don't see that similar capability uh, with marketplaces, say, for example, in LATAM or some other parts of the world. So you, you do see these geographical differences, even Amazon, uh, for, uh, for example, the capabilities that you have in the US are very distinct from what you would see uh, in other markets which are emerging. Like when you look at Amazon Australia uh, has got you know, very uh, primitive capabilities as the sophisticated capabilities that you would have in the US. That, that's very useful to know. How does Microsoft choose which products get sold through marketplaces? Is there any strategy there? So historically, what we've done, uh, peers, is that we've really taken a very inclusive approach uh, to uh, listing products on marketplaces. Uh, We've really not made a distinction uh, between what we will sell through our own and operated channel Uh, and through marketplaces. And it's really centered around this belief that we need to be customer centric and give consumers really the choice to decide, you know, the platform that they would like to, you know, purchase the product. Okay. And um, we have a number of brand executives watching today, retail executives, uh, everybody within, in between all the ecosystem partners. Uh, do you have any suggestions about what strategies should be they they could uh, apply? Are there any tips or tricks that they should think about when they think about marketplaces? Yeah, no, I think that's a, that's a great question, Piers. And I think you know traditionally marketplaces and and even till now have focused more on price and selection uh, as the core parts of their experience. They've no really not really not focused on experience. You know, like you look at physical retail, there's been a lot of investment that's really gone uh, as a part of the experience. But uh, marketplaces have really focused on giving a, a great price, and that through the price discovery mechanism, which happens in marketplaces, and offering that wide range of assortment. So I think there's a huge opportunity for us to really uh, improve the experience uh, on marketplaces and. And I think in specifically, I'd say there's one big opportunity that I see, which is important for all of us to acknowledge is the role of Amazon uh, amongst all the marketplaces, which is there. Amazon in many ways is becoming, I would say the first uh, 
mile in the digital shopper's journey with almost 63% of customers starting their uh, journey on Amazon. Uh, it's becoming extremely critical that uh, you offer a great experience to customers on Amazon, not just from making sure that you can achieve sales on Amazon, but overall optimize your digital shelf ecosystem across various partners because consumers do uh, browse on Amazon and shop at other uh, retailers as well. So it's important to acknowledge that uh, part of the experience. And from an experience standpoint, we have to kind of go beyond, uh, you know, I'd say it's important to focus at the heart of the experience. It's all about making sure that search and nav is really good. It's important to make sure that you have that premium A plus content on uh, product detail pages, which will help you improve uh, your search relevance when you kind of search for products. Those are really important, but it's important to go one step ahead uh, in the journey. And some of the examples that really come to my mind here is one of the campaigns which we are re recently running on Amazon, which is the Laptops for Lifestyle campaign, where you are able to really match the audience or the persona uh, to a particular laptop. So if you're a rising star or a student, you know the Surface Laptop Go is a perfect product for you. If you were an innovator, the Surface Laptop Pro is the right product for you. So I think you also have this opportunity to think beyond uh, some of the heart of the experience pieces to really go beyond to create uh, some great campaigns. And uh, another example perhaps is also very interesting is to really create what I would call as virtual interactive uh, experiences and stories where you can actually immerse the consumer as a part of that experience. And one such example uh, that comes to my mind is uh, the Walmart Wonder Lab, you know, where, you know, we've lost the opportunity to browse across the aisle and really uh, unbox products and play around with products. And, you know, we created a Minecraft experience uh, with Walmart, with Xbox, which really is a virtual interactive, choose your own adventure kind of an experience, uh, which was very engaging. And this really transforms that experience from being transactional uh, to become much more uh, emotional. So I think there is, uh, a huge opportunity to double down on the experience piece on marketplaces. That's really interesting, Ram. Ram Naraya, I am Worldwide Director of Digital Strategy and E-Commerce at Microsoft. Always fascinating to kind of hear uh, the different topics and different direction you're taking uh, when it comes to retailing Microsoft products and services. Thanks for your time today. Thank you, Piers. It was a pleasure being here.